Welcome to Number Blocks Grand Prix. We have an exciting race for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Who will be the grand champion? We have five racers in their unique race cars. Let's check out each of them. Driver number one is in her red race car with one round headlight. She has round wheel ornaments and one stripe at the sides. Finally, she has one tailpipe at the back. From the top, we can see that her race car is round shaped. Now that's a pretty cool car. Now driver number two is sporting an orange race car with two headlights and two stripes at the sides. The wheels have ovals with two pointed ends and at the back of the car, you'll see two exhaust pipes. His orange car is oval shaped with two pointed ends and it looks very aerodynamic. Driver number three's car is of course yellow. This one has three headlights and three stripes. The wheels have a triangle print and the rear has three tailpipes. From the top, we can see the car has three sides, which makes it a... That's right, a triangle! Racer number four is a square, and it looks like his car is very boxy as well. The wheels are round, of course, but it has square prints on them. The car is powered by four square exhaust pipes and four stripes at the back. Look at the front. We see four square headlights and four lines at the grille. Finally, the car is green. And you guessed it, square shaped. Our last racer, driver number five, is in her blue car. Looks like her car has five sides as well, making a pentagon. It also has five headlights with five stripes at the sides. The wheels also have the pentagon design. The back of the car has a large star shape with five points and five exhaust pipes that gives it lots of power. Can five win this race? It's time to start our race! Which racer will dominate the Number Blocks Grand Prix? For our first round, we have one going head-to-head -head with two in the one-mile race. <laughs> Like two has an early lead, followed closely by one. Now let's take a closer look. One is traveling at one mile per hour, while two is going at two miles per hour. That means after an hour, one has traveled a mile distance, while two has traveled a longer distance at two miles because two is going faster. Since this race is only one mile long, as you can see, Two can get to the finish line faster than one. So he wins the race! <laughs> For our next round, we have three going against four in a four-mile race. And off our racers go! Four goes to the turn first, and there goes three as well. In this race, three is going at three miles per hour, while four is traveling at four miles per hour. The finish line is four miles away. After an hour, three would have completed three miles only, while four would have traveled four miles, which is already the finish line. So four wins this race. Three would still be one mile behind. Next, we have four racing against five. Who do you think will take the checkered flag this time? On your marks, go! Looks like five is taking an early lead. Ha 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 ha! Surprise, surprise! It's time to be naughty, Octo Naughty. Hmm, how can I mess up this race? Ha ha ha! Obstacles! Ha ha ha! Turn this race course into an obstacle course! Ha ha ha! Wait, what's that? Ah! Uh oh! I'm gonna need some repairs. This is going to cause some delay. Oh no! Looks like Five got herself into a bit of trouble. This is going to cost her precious time in this tight race. Worry not, my friend. Octoblock is here to help you out of that sticky situation. Oh good! Octoblock is here to save the day. Let's hope we can get Five back in the race quickly. Octoblock, fix! 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fix! There you go, my friend! All done, and you're back in the race! Thanks, Octoblock! With five now back in the race, let's see who's in the lead! Four is going four miles per hour, while five is going faster at five miles per hour! At the start of the race, five was in the lead, but she needed to stop and get some repairs along the way. And that cost her a bit of time. Enough for four to catch up and take the lead. Now that she's back in the race, she's going faster again at five miles per hour. And that looks like it's enough to catch up. But they'll arrive at the finish line at the same time. And it's a tie. Phew, that was an exciting race. For our last round, we have all five drivers racing to the finish line. And off they go! Looks like this will be a close one. This round will be quite different. One's track is only one mile long and he is traveling at one mile per hour. Two is racing on his own track that's two miles long and he's going at two miles per hour. Three has a three mile long track as she speeds at three miles per hour. Four has four miles to travel at four miles per hour. Lastly, five has five miles and is going at five miles per hour. After exactly one hour, all of them would have traveled enough distance to the finish line of their own tracks. And this is a five-way tie. And that concludes our Number Blocks Grand Prix.